Well, hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio Channel. Now, today cooking with VK6CS. Now, this is going to be a recipe for bird's nest soup, as you can see. <laughs> oh dear, never mind, we are getting there. We are getting there. I've changed the, uh, uh, the buck transformer for something a little... Uh, with a little higher voltage because it just wasn't quite right. Now remember what I want to do, I want to keep the uh, unloaded HT line to a reasonably comfortable threshold for the smoothing capacitor stack and the valve. Um, smoothing capacitor stack has got a working voltage of 5400 volts and I've read, whether it's true or not of course because it was on the internet, that the GS35B um, people run them at 4,800 4, volts without any problems. So I thought, okay, let's just uh, see what this does. So I've connected this up. I've taken the, uh, remember I had a toroidal, I don't know if I showed you actually last time, had a toroidal transformer in there, just sitting on that aluminium strip that's below that uh, transformer, precariously perched on the top of the frame there. I've removed that and um, I fitted this uh, other transformer and it's connected to buck. So it's connected to reduce the secondary output voltage of the big black transformer. As I've said before, I would really like to use the big black transformer because the other one is very useful for doing uh, valve amplifier experiments. It's got a number of taps on it for, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot easier to uh, play around with different HT rails. Now, and I've already mounted the DIN rail with the uh, um, with the soft start timer relay, it's got some fuses in there as well and that big flat blue thing is of course the uh, I think it's something like a 2000 watt rated <laughs> uh, film pack resistor so um, that's the uh, that's providing the inrush protection alrighty now so what I thought I'd do, I'd just try some quick experiments and I plugged it in and I got a comfortable HT voltage, it was about 4,800 volts. I measured the mains voltage coming in, it was 247 volts. Now that is very high for here. It's normally around 232 volts, you know, 234 volts is pretty typical. Um, but it's, you know, it's 9.50 in the morning, um, so people probably haven't got uh, all their uh, reverse cycles running yet. Oh, the meter's telling me it's going to shut down. Um, that's me waffling too much. Right. Uh, now, what? Uh, as I explained before, what I want is to be able to just plug it into the mains. I've got a very on at the moment. Um, and have no risk whatsoever of the HT rail going well above uh, a level that might cause the valve or the capacitor bank some angst. Right. And this works an absolute charm. It really does. And I'll show you what I mean. Remember uh, if you looked at the previous video how it's configured, a little transformer, the secondary is in series with the primary of the main HT transformer. Okay, and there's my two meters. The one on the right is going to show the HT in kilovolts. And the one on the left will show the AC mains voltage. And that's what that beeping was. It was telling me it was going to do that. Right, I've still got 90 volts on the capacitor stack. 80 volts. Right, I'll show you what I mean. If I can reach through the tripod. Actually, what I did with the uh, what I did with the um, with the whiteboard the other day was I filmed it upside down and then inverted the image with some software. I should be doing that really, It'd be a lot easier, but I'll struggle along. Be no fun if it was too easy, would it? Okay, so there's the AC voltage, or it will be. Now I'm not going to be able to display that without getting in the way. Should be able to. That is a good question though. Uh, yeah, I don't want the, uh, the wires draping across the high voltage supply, of course. 
Okay, all right, well, let's just wind it up and see if we get some HT first. Just to make sure I haven't forgotten to plug anything in. Yeah, okay, that looks all right. Remember, the grey meter is showing kilovolts. That's 1.6. That's 2,000 volts odd. So if we go up to... That's 4,380 volts. So let's just see what the AC voltage is. I'll keep my arm out of the way here. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. It's 200 and, 200 and, 229 volts. So typically the AC here is you know, about there to, maybe a little bit less. Oh, yeah, 234, something like that is, usual, is my usual mains voltage. And as you can see on the right hand side, I'm getting about 4,470 volts, which is pretty good. That's, that's not bad at all. Now, uh, if I increase that, so let's say we get 237 volts, it's 4,500 volts, 242 volts, it's 4,600. I don't like using these bloody voltage doublers. Uh, and I've got 247 volts this morning on my mains. I just measured it. So there you go. So with 247 volts on the mains this morning, I get 4,750 volts. So over the range of uh, AC input voltages, I'm getting a pretty comfortable HT rail voltage. Wind that down a little bit. Yeah, so you know, 236 volts on the mains, maybe a little bit less. I'm getting about four and a half thousand volts, and I reckon that's a, that's a pretty comfortable voltage. So that means that uh, I can. I can uh, take the amplifier from here, assuming I can move it of course, and plug it in anywhere else. And if the mains voltage is high, it's un unlikely that it's going to be higher than 247 volts, I would think. Um, actually, I suppose I could measure it. Just quick it up a bit more because the, the variac will give me 110% of course. Um, just, to, just to see how high the mains voltage would have to go before it will bother it. But I think I can comfortably unplug it from here and assuming I can lift it, it'll actually be a two-man lift, I could put it in the car, take it somewhere else, take it to the club, whatever, and uh, use it somewhere else. And if I use it here, with my low mains voltage, I'll still be getting um, a HT rail level that will give me the um, target figure output power for the project. So, uh, I don't know whether to just quickly measure that. Um, turn it up higher than 247 volts. Um, I don't think it's really. Uh, I don't think it's really worth it. It's not going to. I don't think it's going to be particularly. It's not going to. Well, let's have a look. <laughs> I can get the probes back in the chalky block. Okay, let's just see what uh, see what happens. So, okay, so that's so that's two forty eight. It's two fifty. That's two sixty. So it's 4,970 volts with 260 volts coming in from the mains. 
and I think you know getting 260 volts out of the mains is pretty unlikely so that's what I wanted to achieve that the HT rail will be less than 5,000 volts with a really high mains voltage and it is and at the other end of the scale <coughs> at the 232 volts on the mains I'm getting a useful getting a useful HT rail voltage so I think we'll call that a success and figure out how to mount that transformer into the project obviously as I've said earlier this is an explosion of spaghetti bolognese factory recipe for bird's nest soup it's going to look nothing like this when it's finished of course as always hope you found that interesting many thanks for watching I'll catch you next time